Hi, I'm Morgan Kawaguchi with Own Physical Therapy and Pilates located in Asheville, North Carolina. Today we're going to run through a Pilates inspired workout. You'll only need a mat and possibly two dumbbells, lightweight, one to two pounds. I'm using two pounds today. We're going to start off in standing at the end of your mat. From here, we're going to find your Pilates V. Inhale, reach down to the floor, rise up on the high heels. Reach towards the ceiling, keep pressing through all 10 toes, and then sweep back down, slowly soften and send the heels down. We do that again. Exhale, press through all 10 toes, come up high, find your length, good. Reach away and float the heels back down. One more, reach back up, press through all 10 toes, Hold here. From here, we're gonna dive down into a forward fold. Keep the heels up, keep them hugging together. Press through all 10 toes as you start drawing the abdominals up and head goes down. Slowly reaching towards your mat. Keep pressing through all 10 toes. Keep drawing your abdominals up. Find your mat and slowly reach back out and find palms to the mat. You can keep squeezing the heels together. We're gonna to do three push-ups. They don't have to be deep, but they do have to be slow. Hug the heels together. Press the mat away as you soften the elbows and press back out. Two more. Press in as you push away. Good, one more. Soften the elbows, hug into the ribs as you press back out. From here, walk your hands back to your feet. You can float the heels back down, come into a full forward fold, and then from here, abdominals get pulled up into the abdominals, tuck the tailbone as you start stacking one vertebra on top of the other, and then elbows, shoulders, heavy head just follows. Step to the middle of your mat. We're gonna do a few pelvic tilts and hip hinging. So you'll wanna stand right in line with your two hip joints. So keep thinking your feet, your second or third toe, be lined up with your knee. It's gonna be lined up with your true hip joint, which is under that, that pokey hip bone, it's called your ASIS. So from here, I want you to soften the knees. Go ahead and just think about that your pelvic bone could lead the charge here. Really draw that pelvic bone towards the chest, really decreasing the space in the front, and increasing the length in the back of you. And then you're gonna push the pelvic bone, the pubic bone away as you find as much lordosis as you can. And then draw the pubic bone towards the chest, finding all the length and stretch. And then send the pubic bone away and find all the lordosis available to you. One more, draw the pubic bone to you. And then press the pubic bone away, finding all that length in front, good. Now I want you to find that, that halfway place that feels like your vertebra is stacked on top of each other and you're in your strongest place, okay? We don't wanna be kind of at the ends of that lordosis movement and you certainly don't wanna be tucked in as, as curled up, right? So you wanna find that nice stacked in place. You're gonna let your feet find a little bit more width here. Maybe think as wide as the actual outside of your hips. We're gonna go into some hip hinging here. I want you to lead the charge with the tailbone this time, reaching it back towards the wall behind you and standing strong into your full foot. Reach the hips back, crown of the head reaches towards where the ceiling is long and then drive through the heels. Three more, send the tailbone back and then drive through the heels. Lead with the tailbone as if you could reach the wall behind you and then drive through the heels, last one. Send it back and drive it up. Now, the next few exercises you can do with your weights. So go ahead and grab those and come back to that parallel standing just wider than the true hip joint. From here, we're gonna just reach out into the space in front of us while doing that hip hinge. So reach the hips back, crown of the head reaches towards the ceiling meets the wall, and then we come back in. Three more, send it out long, crown of the head, good, and come back in, and two, good, and back in, and one. Beautiful, and climb back up. Turn and face your screen. This time I want you 
You can just drop your weights, and we're going to go into a forward fold in a rather wide stance. Head goes heavy. And just shake out all the weight and just find some length in the back of you. Stretch and let the weight of your head drip towards the floor. And then from here, I want you to really draw the belly button towards the spine. You're going to come up all the way back up into full standing. Hands on the hips. You're going to reach your hips out to the right side of your mat. So keep that reach. You're going to find some stretch on the inside of the left leg. Send the hips back behind you for your full hip circle. And just take stock here. See what's tight. See what, what, what is happening here that may have not been happening yesterday or was and it's not happening today. And reach to the full length and then reverse. Send the hips back behind you to the right, forward, and then to the left. Let's do that one more time. Sweep it around. And again, just take stock. Feel all the things you already feel. Good. And then I'm going to have you do some hip, uh, wrist circles. So just finding the full limit of what those wrists will give you. And then reverse. Okay. And let the arms go heavy. We're just going to drop the chin to chest. You're going to slowly start pulling the left ear to the left shoulder. Slowly start reaching it back. We don't have to find the ends of the earth here. And then the right ear to the right shoulder. Again, just taking stock. And then reverse. Right shoulder, right ear to the right shoulder. Tip it back and up. And then drop left ear to left shoulder. And then come back into your tall standing. Grab your weights again. From here, we're just gonna step out a little bit wide, wider than the true hip joint. So I don't know, I'm standing eight-ish inches apart. We're going to come back down into that lovely hip hinge. So reaching the hips back behind you, arms reaching up. I want you to come up onto the balls of your feet, lifting the heels up. Slowly lower them down. Float back up and slowly lower down. Here we go. And up and slowly down. And last one, up and slowly down. Send your head heavy and reach your hips up high. Good. From here, come back up. I want you to get into that same hip hinge position. So hips reaching long, crown of the head reaching towards where the ceiling meets the wall. Belly button is drawn in and attaching to those abs. I want you to reach your right arm strong, left arm back behind you. Slowly soften through center and reach lefty forward and righty back. Good. Slowly soften through center and we do it again. Right reaches forward, left is back, and then slowly soften through center and reach. We've got one more each side. And find that length, slowly soften through center and reach lefty forward and right back. Good. From here, we're going to have arms straight down. Keep in that nice, strong position. Elbows reach out to the side for that reverse fly. Slowly soften in. Reach it up and slowly soften down and up and back down. On this last one, I want you to reach up and hold. I want you to extend the elbows and curl back in. Extend the elbows and curl back in. Extend the elbows out and curl back in. Last one, then out and back in. Slowly fold forward and find all the length in your back body. Head goes heavy and keep reaching hips high. Good, slowly roll back up. From here, we're gonna step out into a wide position. Once you can be out at an angle, if that's comfortable in your body, or you can think both toes straight ahead, facing towards the screen. Fight the urge to open all the way out to the side, okay? So, find your place, and again, we're gonna come into a little bit of a squat, and then drive back up. Keep thinking, could you open your knees any wider and drive back up? And open the knees any wider and drive back up. And open the knees wider, hold here. We're gonna lift both heels up. You can go palms down or palms up, whatever feels best in your body. Slowly lower them down, we've got three more. Raise them up and slowly lower down. Two more and up and slowly lower down and up. 
and down. Now we're gonna do it again, we're gonna build. So go ahead and raise up. I want you to pulse here with your bottom, so lift your weight, and down. And two, and down, and three, and down, and four, and down. Let your heels slowly start finding the floor. Dip your head forward for your forward fold, and rest. Very good. From here, we're gonna come back into your push-up. Find back of the mat, find your Pilates V, press through all 10 toes as you breathe and lift your arms up towards the ceiling. Heels are hugging high towards the ceiling as well. Exhale, dive down, dragging your belly button up nice and high and see if you can control finding the floor with those fingertips, good. And then we're gonna walk out again. We've got three regular push-ups again. From here, find that your palms are making really good contact. Heels can hug in together. You don't have to go deep, but you do have to go slow. So drop in and then press the floor away. Two more. Drop it in and press away. Last one. Drop it in, press away. Reach your hips up for a down dog so your heels can lead each other and then walk your dog out, softening one knee at a time, finding all the length in your back body. Good. From here, rise up through both heels. Slowly roll through the spine and find yourself in your plank position. From here, I'm gonna have you pull your left knee up towards your elbow. Now, you can put that toe down if you need a little help, but see if you can keep her floating and do a little baby push-up and send it back right elbow to the right knee and nice and easy soften and press away send it away left elbow to left knee and then press in and push away and again elbow to knee and press away last one elbow to knee press it in Whew. and elbow to knee press it in good and rest back into um, nice down dog here. Soften the knees, set them down wide, feet can go flat as you press back into child's pose. Get off of your wrists for just a moment. You can do some wrist circles here. Walk both hands over to the right side of your mat. Keep your left hip engage towards your left heel and find as much opening in your left rib cage left armpit that you can and then walk over to the left side of your mat right hip to heel and try to breathe into that right rib cage right armpit center and rest. If you want to get off your hands completely, you can always reach back and hold your heels. From here, we're going to come into um, laying on the belly. If you feel like you need a little bit of support underneath your pelvis, grab a small blanket or a small towel and have that there. From here, we are going to come into um, work on baby swan, working up into swan, okay? I've got a really nice active version that I like to work up through first. So, we're gonna rest your forehead on your mat. Your hands can be just as wide as the mat. Mine are gonna be like half on, half off. From here, I want you to feel like you could reach your feet long on the mat behind you. It kind of engages the whole leg. From here, I want you to float your hands and your elbows off of the mat. On the next exhale, you're gonna slowly start pick up the head. You're gonna to look towards the top of your mat, just past the edge of your mat, and keep picking yourself up to show more and more of your collarbone and your sternum towards the floor, the wall in front of you. And then really slow, lay back down with all the control, rest the forehead, rest the hands, rest the elbows. Rest the legs, inhale. Send your pubic bone into the mat. 
float the hands. Slowly start letting the head roll up. Find the top of the mat. Find maybe six to eight inches out in front of your mat. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Really slow. You're gonna lay back down with all of the control. Rest the forehead, rest the hands, rest the legs. On this last one, we're gonna get up and we're gonna be here a minute. So if you don't have, make sure you've got some space in front of you because there are gonna be some arm movements. If you feel like your shoulder's not up for this or your back is not up for it, just stay with the exercise that we just did. Inhale. Send the pubic bone into the mat. Float the hands, float the forearms, and start rolling up into a gaze to the top of the mat and maybe just past the mat. Keep thinking pubic bone into your mat as you reach your arms up into a V. You're going to drag the elbows back down really slow, really controlled as if they could touch into the ribs. And then you're going to reach back up into a V. I call these VWs. From here, draw back down. And we do it again. Reach both arms up into your V. Last one, draw back down into your W. Could you press that pubic bone in and pop up maybe two more inches? And then with control, lay everything back down. Forehead rests on the mat. Hands rest, legs rest, body rests. Very good. Now, on this one, we're going into full swan. Inhale. Exhale, keep floating the hands. Pubic bone into your mat. Slowly roll up. Take up as much space as you can. Keep the legs reaching towards the wall behind you. And then when you found your max height, you're gonna bring hands down. From here, you're gonna start pressing up. You do not need to find all the way up on the first one. So inhale, my elbows are still soft. Still thinking pubic bone into the box, into the um, mat. Slowly roll back down. Keep reorganizing those abs as the forehead makes its way down. Rest the head, rest the legs, rest the body. We'll do it again, float the hands up. Pubic bone into the mat. Slowly start rolling the forehead up. Look at the top of the mat. Keep thinking all those back muscles are on as you look out six to eight inches above your mat. Once you find your height, hands back down. Keep thinking pubic bone towards the mat towards that energy as you come up into full swan. Collarbones are wide. Now from here, everyone look left. Good. Come back center. Everyone look right. Come back center. Slowly start reorganizing those abs, softening the elbows, reaching through the crown of the head as you find terra firma. Head down, legs rest, body rest. One more. Exhale, float the hands. Pubic bone into the mat as you slowly roll the forehead up. We find the top of the mat, six to eight inches. We found our height, hands down. From here, pubic bone into the mat, work. Stand into the legs, reach those legs. Collarbones are long wide. Everyone look to the right. Slowly come back center. And everyone look to the left and come back center. Slowly reorganize those abs as you soften the elbows and come back in to your rest position. Rest the legs and stack the hands underneath you. What might feel nice here is bending the knees to the soles of the feet or towards the ceiling. And you're just gonna windshield wiper back and forth. We're gonna go into single leg kicks. From here, you can kind of thread your fingers together. I want you to feel like you could reach both legs long behind you, but actively you're gonna feel like you could pull your mat underneath you. It keeps your abs on, it keeps your, your shoulders on, everybody just stays a little bit more engaged. From here, I want you to bring your right heel, flex the foot as you kick twice towards your backside. So one, two, and reach it long. And left knee, one, two, and reach it long. And one, two, reach it long. One, two, reach it long. Keep going. One, two, and one, two. Keep dragging that under you. And left, one, two, and one, two, and one, two. 
two, one more. Kick, kick, and down, and kick, kick, and down. Then you're going to double leg kicks. Everyone set your face down so you can see your screen. I'm setting the right side of my face down. Hands are gonna come stacked into the low back. From here, we inhale. Exhale, I want you to start reaching your hands towards your heels. You're gonna lift up and then find all that length in the front of you. And then slowly soften the hand, the elbows, to come back into the low back. Then you get three kicks into your low back with both legs. So one, two, three. Press legs back out long as if they could reach the wall behind you. Hands reach to the heels as you come up. And then slowly set the right side of your face down on the mat again. Hands rest and three kicks. One, two, three and press out long, find all that length in your front body, reach to the heels, and then slowly stack the hands and left side of the face is down as we one, two, three, press out long, reach to the heels, find all that front body opening. And then last time, we're gonna come right cheek down and one, two, three, Reach both heels long behind you. Find all that front body opening. And then reach the arms out to the side. Stack the hands, rest the forehead. Bend the knees so the soles of the feet are towards the ceiling. And you can windshield wiper the feet back and forth. Now we've been in this extension moment for quite a while. So I'm gonna have you press back into Child's Pose. Let your hips find your heels. Find all that reach into your back body. If you need, you round the back into a little bit of flexion and find just that nice opposition. It's nice to oppose whatever motion that we were um, just working on. Now I am actively reaching my pubic bone towards my chest, finding some opening into my low back. Since with all of that extension on the work, we're finding closing down into the lumbar spine. Okay, from here, we're gonna go into some kneeling side kicks. So you have some options for this. If you have maybe a surgical history that doesn't allow you to kneel, you can place a small ball between your knees and find that, that work of drawing in together. It pulls you right off of the kneecap. And it's just some different level to kind of pull you up off of the kneecap. Can't say it's gonna fix it completely, but it gives you that opportunity to find some weight bearing through your knees. We're not gonna be here long, okay? So find all that pulling in together work. Arms are gonna reach out to the side. From here, we're gonna set the right hand down on the mat over there, so make sure you're in the middle. Inhale, exhale. We're gonna start tipping over. The left knee starts floating up, just to do a little counterbalance, and reach that hand to the floor, okay? So from here, I've got that left leg reaching long to the wall out at the end of my mat. From here, this left hand is still reaching towards the ceiling as well. It's gonna stay here. From here, you're gonna let the toes come to the floor and then lift back up. And then to the floor and lift back up. Everyone give me a right hip reaching towards the screen and up. And here's four and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Hold here, we're doing little circles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Reverse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Slowly let that foot reach towards the floor. On these next ones, these are gonna be kicks, side kicks. So, Make sure you've got this bottom hip reaching towards your screen, hand reaching towards the ceiling, foot's floating in the air. Flex the foot as it comes forward. Point the foot as it sweeps back. Flex, and here's two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Whew. 
Now on this, we're gonna come up. So there needs to be a little bit of push from this right hand and a little bit of reach with your left hand to float everybody up and then let the left knee come underneath you. Reach out to the side again. Now I've got all that on the other side. Lefty, we start the tip over. Right knee floats up. You find the floor and then you reach that foot out long. It can find the floor now. From here, left hip reaches towards the screen. Right hand is towards the ceiling. And we go up eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hold it here, circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Reach it and then let it find the floor. Now, reset this bottom hip. It reaches towards the screen. Our right arm's reaching towards the ceiling. You're pushing the floor away with lefty. Let that right foot float up. Flex the foot for one. Point it back. Flex two. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. Whew. Now we're coming back up. Inhale. Exhale, you're gonna push away with that left hand. Come floating back up. Beautiful. Go ahead and go wide with your knees. Sit your hips back towards your heels and reach the arms forward out in front of you. <sighs> Again, find all that opening in your back body. <sighs> and then make your way up into a tall kneel. And you're gonna be turning, I'm gonna turn a little bit so you can kind of see a little bit better what we're doing. Send both hips towards the right. Send both hips to the left. From here, we're gonna send it to the right again. And then one more time to the left. Find you can push the floor away, put nice weight into the right knee. You're gonna send the left leg long back behind you. From here, you're gonna draw that knee in tight to the chest as you work that foot through both feet, we come up into this nice half kneel, almost like a lunged forward position. From here, reach your arms towards the ceiling. Everyone send your hips forward. Keep thinking your pubic bone could stay lifted towards your chest so we get a nice opening into that right hip flexor. From here, sweep the arms down, find the floor and tip the heel uh, tip the toes up so that all your weight's going through your left heel. You lift the toes out to the side and then toes towards the inside. And to the side and towards the inside. You can let your head reach in towards the knee. You can let it left, let your chest lift. And into the knee and let the chest lift. Good. Bend. Good. And then everybody pop up onto the toe. I'm going to have you walk your right hand on the inside. We're going to open up the right side of the chest. Good. Slowly sweep the right hand down and open up the left side of the chest. Find all that opening. Good. Hand on the outside of the left foot. Drop that right knee and then work that left foot back behind you. Okay, hips to the side, back and forth. Good. And then stay steady. We're gonna reach left, a right leg back behind you. And then you're gonna draw that knee in tight to the chest as you work that right foot forward. Okay? From here, we're in this like long lunge, half kneel position as you sweep the arms forward. Same idea, pubic bones getting drawn to the chest. Finding all of this opening into the front of that left hip flexor. And then nice and easy, find the floor beside you, pop the right toes up, and you're gonna find some nice lengthening into that side of that right leg. Toes in and toes out. Toes in and toes out. Good. 
and then from here, set the right foot down completely. We're gonna have both hands in. I want you to pop up onto the left toes as you open the left side of the chest and all that rotation work and bring left hand back down. Open the right hand to the wall beside you as you open the right side of the chest towards the ceiling. And then slowly that hand can come down, set the right knee down, and then sweep the right foot back behind you. Step back into child's pose and rest. From here, come back up. Maddie, find your down dog from that child's pose. So just tuck those toes and then pop the hips up high. From here, lift the heels up as you roll through the spine, as you find that lovely plank position. We've got three little push-ups here. Don't have to be big, but they do have to be slow. Here's one, and here's two. Good, and here's three. Start walking your hands back towards your feet, lower the heels down, forward fold, the head be heavy, you can hold both elbows, <sighs> arms reach to the floor again, inhale, slowly start stacking the vertebra one on top of the other, shoulders coming down, heavy head just follows. And that's our work for today. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Take care.